cybersecurity is continuing to be a super hot topic in the news, especially this week, with the founder of WikiLeaks, Julian Assange, is now arrested by the British police, and there's a good probability that they will send him to the United States so he can be prosecuted for conspiracy for hacking and stealing classified information. And it's funny because in any topic, you're always going to have people on either side. And there's a lot of people that are sort of free Julian and pro Julian and pro WikiLeaks that this is all good and great and wonderful. But my problem is this. Some information is classified to protect our country. Laws are in place to keep us safe. Now, remember, I'm a little biased because I spent 10 years at the Central Intelligence Agency. So I'm a big fan of understanding the value of having to classify and keep certain information private to protect our nation. And I sort of laugh because WikiLeaks and Julian and his legal team are going, this is crazy. We're just doing journalism. And if you go in and arrest Julian, you are prohibiting journalism. And I'm sitting there going, wait a second. Hacking passwords, breaking into government computers, knowingly stealing classified information, and publishing it online? That's now the definition of journalism? Are you freaking kidding me? So basically, if we use that logic, then I can say that if I broke into a bank and robbed the bank, but I gave the money to charities and I gave the money to good causes, that it's okay, that I really didn't rob the bank. All I was doing was distributing wealth. Right? This is crazy. Right? We have to recognize that yes, Journalism should be giving us information. I love finding out information and sharing it, but there's also laws in place. And if you're getting to the point where you're hacking computer systems, breaking passwords, and knowingly stealing classified data to publicly disclose it, I think we all need to agree that ain't journalism, and that's a step way too far, that if we allow that, basically our whole system of democracy can collapse very, very quickly. So I'm interested to sit back and see how this plays out. I predict that the UK will actually release him to the United States and he will stand trial and probably get five to six years in jail. But here's the interesting thing. As we saw with the Mueller investigation in which WikiLeaks was a key component, as you start digging in, I think there's a lot of other crimes that Julian committed. And honestly, that's why I think he's so scared. If he was just going to be charged and given five years in prison, I think he'd be fine with that. Why? He was in the Ecuadorian embassy for seven years. He basically was in a self-imposed prison for seven years. Five years is nothing. But I think he knows that we're going to find out that he committed a lot of other crimes. And I think he's concerned about multiple life sentences and other harsh punishments. So it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. But I just urge you, as you watch these stories, look at the facts. So many times people take sides, and I argue with folks, on fictitious information and data that is just not true. So figure out the facts, decide for yourself. But like I said, if we want our nation to continue to be great, we have to have laws we have to have classified data, and we have to prosecute and stop people that hack, break those laws, and don't honor our nation, and knowingly expose classified data that can hurt our country and hurt our citizens.